Good morning, beautiful souls. Good morning from the south, let me get my bearing, southeast point of Bribie Island. Let me know if you're watching us live. I'm gonna share something very valuable this morning that all of you perfectionists out there um, and all of those minds that love to control things and tell us that we can't do something until we are ready um, you need to hear this message. So while we're just um, waiting and seeing who's here live for us this morning, who have we got here? Got Karen. Good morning, Renee. I'm going to show you my view if I can over at Morton Island. There, it's just stunning this morning. One of the most clear kind of views we've had for a really long time. The clearest water we've had for a long time. Just divine. And I was walking along reflecting on a couple of things that happened over the weekend that really reinforced how. I've made some you know, massive changes in my life over the last sort of 15 years and those of you that have been following me for a while will, will have seen that shift and those you may have really seen a shift since I've come back from the desert. It is palpable in how powerful your presence is irrespective of your sort of skill set. So our mind and our society is trained for perfection right train to judge things based on some measurement system of ability but that doesn't relate to how we feel about something how we connect to something really the value that we place on it on a deeply personal level and how we might feel magnetically drawn to that whether we might want to connect with that person, work with that person, buy from that person, whether it's a piece of art or a course or legal support, whatever it is. So here's what I observed this weekend. We went to the theater and I went to an art exhibition and both left me predominantly, not all, but predominantly feeling a bit cold. I'm not going to share what they were because this is just from my perspective and you're welcome to you know, have completely whatever your perspective is. But after many, many years working with presence and working with my own creativity in my own business, I have discovered that the power of presence is invaluable. So here's what happened. At the theatre, I was very much looking forward to this show because... It had a great rap of, you know, bringing, feeling really joyful and going away feeling inspired and I love theatre and I generally quite love musicals. And even my husband, who's not as trained, you know, not trained in presence really at all, apart from being entrained by me, came away feeling the same thing, that even though this story was good, even though the songs were performed well, even though, yes, there's a lot of minor chords and potentially what should invoke, you know, heart connection and feeling the emotion of the story, and even though they danced well and acted well, we were just left feeling cold about the whole thing and didn't feel connected to it at all. And so much of that I feel because it was a musical most of it was music was so much about the presence and the emotion and the connection in the songs in the words that it felt like they had just been created and curated very much just from the mind we have a job to do and we're going to fulfill that role and write the words and put the music that one ought to do and here it is that's, that's how it how it felt and it doesn't matter how technically brilliant something is. I got my puppy here with me. She's just spotted some other dogs on the beach. Indy, it's all right, bub. So it doesn't matter how technically brilliant something is. I couldn't fault, you know, that the technical skill of, of everything that we witnessed, it didn't have that heart connection for me. It just didn't speak to me in that way something a lot more simple something maybe a lot more raw could given if it really comes from that place of deep presence and connection and the other thing that I saw this weekend Indy come here bub come here come here good girl was we went to um, an art exhibition now again I'm not going to share which one with lots of art exhibitions about and walking around and witnessing different pictures different um, installations there was 
so much technical brilliance and I can appreciate the technical brilliance being an artist myself. But the majority of pieces, again, left me cold. I didn't want them in my room. I didn't feel connected to want to buy them. And there was only a couple of pieces that really drew me in and I couldn't explain why with my mind. And this is the thing about presence. The mind can't say why you feel this connection, why you feel drawn to do something. You just feel it. Right? You just feel that there's that yummy connection. There's, there's an emotional feeling there's a draw towards it's the it's the whisper of your soul saying this is a moment this is a moment to feel this is a moment of connection this is a moment of importance and if we aren't aligned to this feeling of soul presence and soul con and connection then our mind can quickly come in and try and judge that and say oh yeah but this isn't this or this isn't what you thought you wanted or this isn't brilliant or this isn't perfect or this isn't ready in relation to things that you might be doing, in relation to things that you might be drawn to do. And we miss out on those things that are really going to connect us in and really enrich our lives. And the same goes for when you are being in the world. If you consistently use your mind to measure how you're showing up in the world, it's going to consistently keep telling you that you're falling short because it's looking at measurables. And oh, presence is one of those immeasurables, right? But what I know to be true is when I operate from presence, that rawness, that vulnerability, that creativity that flows through. I get I get seen and heard in the way that I want. In a, I, I magnetize the opportunities that I, my soul is desiring. I attract the abundance. That means that I can continue to keep offering what I do in the world and um, travel on all those beautiful things and, and enjoy that prosperity. So presence is the power behind your talents, your creativity, your skill set. When it arises from presence, what you bring into the world is so much more potent and it enhances your, your natural ability. You know, those of you again have been following me for a while, you, you'll have heard me say before that you know the music that I put out and my art, I've not been classically trained. In fact, I resisted a lot of training because of the way that I was being taught, which was very structured and very linear and I'm a lot more um, lateral and um, feeling based when it comes to learning music you know I learn by ear and with my artwork it just comes intuitively I don't plan anything and when you're being trained people like you to see the process and follow the music notes and all of that so it took me a long while to value my art my creativity and it was only when pe when I just felt so divinely called to bring my music and my art out uncomfortably so because I was being propelled forward literally feeling like I was being propelled forward by a divine hand and then started to share it and my presence improved at the same time because I was doing that work that people were saying to me oh my goodness your music just touches my soul your music just speaks to me your music has got me out of so many sticky points you know my, my children love your music it just makes them you know so joyful your artwork just speaks to my soul your artwork made me cry You're like I I feel so much when I see your art right and that's without what I would call technical brilliance but who wants technical brilliance if it doesn't move people? If we can move people, we are helping people to heal, connect with their soul self, connect with their essential nature, inspire them, make them feel like they're not alone. And this need to, to you know, feel like we belong and to nurture and nourish our own inherent you know, talents, we all have them and to, to feel that you have permission to be fully expressed. If you haven't yet given yourself permission to be fully expressed, I give it to you right now. <laughs> but you are sovereign, right? Your own expression, however that is, whether that is music, art, your legal um, you know, work, your, your calls that you make at work, whatever it is, you can infuse that with presence your embodied presence in your center. 
that will enhance not just your life, but everyone else's life, but life around you through this deep feeling of connection and the magnetic power it has when we are present. Now, if you are hearing this word presence and you're like, I kind of get it, but I don't know if I really get it. What are you really talking about when you're talking about presence? It is, I get you. It is something that is very misunderstood. It can really only be taught and felt and experienced. And when you experience deep presence, you realize how unpresent you have been in your life, but it isn't something that is instant. And if you are kind of really not sure about this, then send me a message because this is um, what I do. <laughs> this is what we share at our foundational half day programs. This is our signature program that travels around the sunny coast Brisbane and we teach you this foundational embodied presence which means that your value goes up when you are present your authenticity goes up when you are present you are seen and heard when you are present your magnetism goes up when you are present right and your creativity goes up when you are present yeah all of my music all of my art all of my work is channeled it is channeled from deep presence now that's not some kind of spiritual fluffy i have to be highly this that or the other connected to you know angelic guides to be able to pull that through everyone has this capacity to be deeply present to their soul self it's not so woo woo and out there as you might think yes it can get a little vast and a little bit more cosmic as we go along but everyone you me everyone has this capacity to be present and has the capacity to draw on these gifts. So if you would love to know a little bit more about how to be present with yourself and be, truly be in your body and truly be able to listen to that soul self and follow the intuition that gives you all of that juice, then reach out if you haven't yet been to one of my half days or if you need a little reminder, because it is potent. We have, oh my goodness, it's tomorrow, one in Brisbane. And next month we have one up on Bribey Island. So yeah, pop a little message below. Tina, if you're watching, you can just pop a little link on here for the half day for anyone watching if you're interested. And you get to bring along a friend for free because we want all women to be able to learn this. Because women especially beat themselves up around not feeling worthy. And we want to bust that. Because women, we are the future. Right? It's the rise of the feminine. Thank you so much, beautiful souls. Nicolette, Chrissy, Renee, Tina, Amanda, and whoever else I've missed here that jumped on a little earlier. Karen, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. Um, yeah. Be present to every beautiful moment and trust yourself. And yeah, much love.